afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to one versus one on Rechinai Perapara in the south of this Finave. In the region, I think roughly top 20 player here, funding for the Soviet Union, socialism, and the Red Army taking on the role here of the 20th tank corps with NKVD. And a surprising choice there. Or at least not commonly seen choice there, but the special problem coming to start. They've got Maxim Penal from Nine Bolsons. There's in the north, it is Von Clausewitz. Not the actor Von Clausewitz, he's long dead. Fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the third Panzer Division with the Jaeger Infantry, with double infantry bullets and technically triple, since that's also an extension of the infantry, anyways. The Panzer range bulletins. So both sides have already made the choices in the early game. Gonna the MD4 2 start there for Von Clausewitz. And Conscripts Maxim start there for Finnaway. In a sense, Mirroring here from class of its opening, the obviously slightly different ordering of how things arrive. Plus, of course, with NKVD, you get access to the KV8, you get Radiant Slip, so he always knows what the class of it is up to. The Commissar Command Squad, Scorched Earth Policy, and Anti Tank Hole Watch. We got Ambush Tactics, training of G43 there for the Grenadiers and Panther Grenadiers, yeah, Command Squad, Light Artillery Barges, and Stuart Close Air Support. So, this should uh, Proved to be a thing, an interesting match here. First engagement, maybe before two, rushing in, getting into the building, right from the counter. This could actually backfire on uh, von Klausowitz, notably, but uh, in this case, this maneuver paid off somewhat for von Klausowitz. So obviously, he's still going to have to stop the counter with someone. They're just going to keep running around, basically, preventing the machine from pinning them down. So he's going to need other troops to get into support. Maximum from the other side, coming to far up north here, Pioneers moving in. Maximum to line of them. MG42 getting suppressed. Meanwhile, Finnaway basically sees some team to basically move up behind this. Ignore the machine gun and the pioneers to hit other points there. The devious maneuver there by Finnaway. Fun Clubs is finally getting other gun. They just go on the move. The machine gun opening out the maximum. Suppressing the crew line. The pioneers pursue the engineers with some ease. Maximum MG42 on lone health, but in the building, it should be able to still beat the maximum out in the open. And there you go. Force from retreat. Munitions have been cut off. Can the squad moving in? Finnaway just continued to cut off and deny an easy access here and make it hard for him to just use his machine gun against it. North point here grabbed by the gunner. He's going to push for the northern fuel point here. Already a rather interesting opening here on the map from both sides. Machine gun actually popping out trying to stop the conscripts. Of course, has to be careful about it since one slip here on the conscripts will easily deal with the machine gun and even wipe it. And looks like that's exactly what's happening here, possibly. Conscript again, gunner. He's going to support here and deal with it. Pine to rush back as well. More gunner. on the way there for Fun Klausowitz. Finnaway there. Not much else going on at the moment. Possibly. Yep. Molotov's up. And there goes, going to try and punch the machine gun there. Could actually get a white there, since it's already low on health. This could be a very harsh development for from Clutch. So there you go, gets out the low on health, comes off being pushed back. They pop into the building, which is actually on fire. They have to be careful they don't burn up themselves. That would be a rather slightly embarrassing development for Finnaway. Third comes all over for Finnaway, maximum opening up here. North Gunner needs to go ground the point, engineers holding up. At least I think he's Norwegian, Finnaway. And it's going to the maximum. Third comes on the way there for Finnaway. Up north here, country charging. We're going to the East One squad, the plus one mold. So it's going to much harder here for him to hold up. Though in this case, he is fortunate. Finnaway has all been spending some on a lot of other things as well, just the Molotovs and sprints. So the, he doesn't have access to right here. Going to the still are being overwhelmed with the sheer numbers that Finnaway is bringing to bear. And for Clubs, going to the they are quickly getting the devil out of the for the risk getting right in fact it was very close there even then machine gun reinforcing tech up there for from class so triple gun is md42 versus a triple conscript maximum build not something you very often see from the soviets but finnaway here again is seemingly going for a uh, german build order as the soviets with the exception of course again molotovs we'll have to see if uh, from class makes any use of the ambush camouflage in the early game uh, probably some G for the feast and G forty two scores be a good addition. He's got the sun fuel, but he's yet to connect it up north. We've got further finding here, kind of listening up past Fenway's frontline pickets here. Going for the fuel putting in, delaying Fenway from getting his fuel. Though of course then he's connected his own fuel. Obviously won't matter match here from Klaus with going to squad about to get wiped again. Really pushing his luck here from Klausowitz. M D forty two then uh gun is behind moving up. Got the munitions point here, but still needs the cutoff point here again. Otherwise it well, if he can grab the point he may not as big of a deal but still no he needs this point definitely that I need to send a victory point Pani sandbagging up in the south troops are reinforcing Matic Banger up there for Van Klaasowitz constantly advancing there for Finnaway and the 20th tank corps engineers setting up got a mortar out here for Finnaway to help blast his way through Van Klaasowitz's positions here's support weapons not a bad idea and there you go Fun grabbing the car point here troops are reinforcing 
We've yet to see any sort of uh, signs of a life from the uh, next tier. No like to make a nice company. No, no Panzer going to the squad here yet for the plus fits. No Panzer squad could be good. No, he cancelled the mortar for a field gun. Possibly worried about fun cards attaining the vehicles more than just worried about, you know, the support weapon. Gun is being suppressed, pushed down into the dirt. Turn away, going straight here for the car point or the fuel pump. I mean, going for the car point fence would be good. He's just immediately cutting off the fuel. Then you can always just grab the fuel point itself. There we go. Going straight for it. Gonna be setting out there for Van Klauswitz. Machine gun healing. Has all been reinforced. Pioneer's charging in, but up close is the Maxim and the conscripts. Not uh, well. They're gonna stand from north of the rifle grenade. Might be able to turn the target there. Go single retreat here from Fenway. The Maxim is in heavy cash from the Gunnies and Pioneers combined now. It's a conscript's turn to be in trouble as they're being focused on by the Gunnies. Gauge from one. Yay, command squad available from Klauswitz as he loses access to the southern fuel point again. And there you go, Finaway calls in the Kamazak command squad, able to lead his men to great bouts of socialist glory. So there he is, with grenades, the ability to dispute medical supplies, and you also get the hold the line ability, not one step back, plus fear propaganda artillery. Quite a few abilities there on the Kamazak command squad. High utility unit, but also, of course, means you manage all that high utility, which is probably why not so many players go for him. But he's actually pretty solid, and his ability to boost conscript for someone who's not one step back is actually quite potent. Since it boosts accuracy and rate of fire, and so you upgrade the conscripts, of course, they become really good. Southern fuel point they lost from Classfits against Ring Norfords here. Aggressive maneuvering for both from Classfits and Finaway here so far. But from Classfits, definitely one that's going a bit more risk, whereas Finaway is uh, keeping his units a bit more together. There we go, using the distribute mail supplies ability to heal up his troops at the front line. Nice work there. Of course, since he has an upgraded medics, that of course means it's going to be very, you know, of utmost importance. He, you know, doesn't just throw away the Kamazar, otherwise, things are going to get a bit ugly there for Finn away quickly. He has to keep replacing the Kamazar that way. Then it's reinforcing. Still, a sound that like to make a nice company. Could it be that Von Klauswitz is planning a tier 2 rush here? In which case, he probably should at least go for some more. There you go, actually got the ambush attacks on the machine gun, but sadly he wasn't expecting this flank. He expected him to attack from here, but so far Finway shows himself as being very keen on attacking from here, realizing that Van Klaasvitz has absolutely nothing watching the road most of the time. There. So that's actually a good read of the situation there by Finway on Van Klaasvitz, and probably should be a cause for uh, remembrance on Van Klaasvitz to keep your eyes on the damn road. It applies when you're driving in the car and, you know, when you're playing on this map. Keep your eyes on the damn road. Commons have command squad, they're taking a few casualties, falling back. For now, gonna lose the ready. Ambush tactics going up, and of course, once they upgrade some of the weapons, they'll become a really good. A particular light machine guns are great, but even G43s are pretty solid with it. Got the northern fuel there. Yeah, command squad sitting out. So now we've seen the map switch sides here from uh, the river being the dividing line to now the road being the dividing line between the two sides. It's not an interesting sort of uh, layout of the map. Gonna lose moving ahead here. We'll obviously, we'll follow up next. Nothing further going on for Klaasvitz. No Panzer going to do. Apparently they were cancelled. They went for them. I think he did. Or, you know, he's just not going for anything else. And the Kamazak coming out ahead here. Quick grenade here from the Kamazak command squad on the gun. It is. That was a bit painful. MP42, the joining in there. Comes to the press. Taking heavy damage. Kamazak coming ahead there. Tank tank command going up there for Finn. With the field just hanging back so far. Not really doing anything. Contra setting up, machine about to get up maneuver. Companies probably should retreat, honestly. They're already low on health. It would be a shame, it would be a waste to be able to lose them. Contra their cop, and then Forge Gunners bring something good. Rough grenading, trying to time it so, like, you know, if he doesn't retreat right away, he's going to get murdered. Since he can't, then dodge it all while suppressed. There you go, Maximus, the year command squad. Could pop a smoke grenade here to deny the Maximus ability to suppress them. He did not throw that. But I would suggest just throwing a smoke grenade in, rush, bum rushing the machine and clearing it out or forcing it to retreat. He said, now I risk being bad here with the max while his troops are suppressed there. If he remembers to do it, we got like to make a nice company plus a pack for another one from Klausvitz. Took a bit of while, but he's getting it. And there we go, going to have a north field gun. The bombardment here, command squad. Huge blow there, almost taking out the entire unit. Bit of a risky call there to put a marker from Klausvitz or him not paying attention. Tank tank command up for Finnaway, troops reinforcing. Commissar, though, is not nearby to heal them. So, no healing for those. Only those who follow the Commissar to glory will receive medical attention. Everyone else is not worthy of it, Commandants. Not worthy. Oh! Bad spot, the second machine gun there from Klausowitz. Punished here by a grenade, but managed to pin down both units. They're allowing for the escape of the MU-42. Damn close there from Klausowitz. Damn close, but you could argue if not for the ambush camouflage, he definitely would not have won that. Constable standing out there. Commissar getting up back on his feet and, uh, you know, pointing out to the rest that, you know, you need to be courageous, like him. But you were ducking your head too, Commissar. 
Well, Yuri, if you look down the bill of my gun, you'll be ducking a lot lower soon, so shut up. Around the point here in the south, comes for sending out the Kamas Command Squad, 22 already, very good. Boost the abilities and overall plant forms in the unit. And of course, Betty 3 becomes even better. Gonna use that on bring up, but with only two men, it's not gonna be the most impressive ambush. I might as well just shout Uberrashung and hope they die of a heart attack at that point. Tisa and the for Finaway, that's gonna be a problem there from Clouds. He does have the pack 40, but the way the terrain is set up, if Finaway is smart, he can use the terrain to dodge some of the pack shots there. And there you go. We got here, hold the line. Make them much tougher. They're going to deal with them. Got fear propaganda. No mercy shown there, but they're going before to joining up, halting at least parts of Finaway's counter push there. West side there, also being gobbled up. T10 light tank around me here for Finaway and the Red Army. This is from Clausewitz, no son of tech. No son of tech. Field guns done operating in the surf for anything to happen that requires his attention, besides, you know, bombarding fascists. Punts are going to do squad final with it from Clausewitz, or at least being attempted again. We'll have to be sticks to it. Honestly, you know, just taking out, I think, would be a great idea. We've got the Jaeger Command Squad going to get rushing up here to deal with Fen or with Fun uh, Jaeger Command Squad. Panzer Squad halfway done. In the south, Contra, they're holding up the line still. More and more gun leaders being equipped with G for the feast there for Fun Clausewitz. Jaeger Command Squad. I think he's trying to use them as bait, maybe. But uh, didn't quite pan out. There we go. Panzer going to squad out here from Clausewitz. And of course, Pentacles with ambush camouflage are just generally great since they already have high rate of fire weapons. So just setting up a good ambush with them can actually be quite powerful. In particular, a bit of rate of fire. Our veterans are there since again at that point they can just unleash some absolute hell in your opponent's infantry. Plus you can set them to attack you know, when the enemy instance sort of shall say their maximum range. So that way you can just also get the maximum burst while the opponent doesn't say, you know, get shoot at them from a nice or safer distance. Tech up there, final gun from clusters, very good. T7 engaging, pack forward rate support. Good hit on the T7 light tank. Punches are moving up in the nearby house, beginning to host the Kamskos out in the middle of the damn road. In the southeast, got a push here, but then before two, got to these pioneers, flashing out any surge that might be forming up a partner defense there. Comes a command squad nearby, might more, do more good here in the main effort in the west. But seems like he's being left to cover the flank there. A bold decision by Fenaway. Multiple is flush out the punch gonna deal it. Good throw there by Fenaway. Nemo from Clutch's advances more or less unopposed in the south. As Fenaway pulls back across the river. Going to get caught here by machine gun. Which casts the Kamas a command squad and pushes him off. And with this, the entire eastern part of the river is more or less from Clutch's. He just needs to grab the north side of the road. It's also somewhat in his hands, though uh, not quite as freely. Pack shoots, misses, punches the nature retreat soon, they're all down to less than half health, and more and more of Fenway's troops are running to surround them and possibly wipe them out. We got the air command got charging up, still need to retreat the Panthers, they have really low on health there. It would be a definite shame, I think, here for Von Clausus to lose them. Of course, great for Fenway if he could wipe them. Pack shoots gets a good hit there. T70 opening up, plus the free field going up from the southern part of the road to embark here from Clausus positions north of the road. In the south, machine gun there also slowly advancing, gonna try and outmaneuver here. We've got two maximums now out here for Finaway, including a freshly arriving one to cover up the flank. Nice work there by Finaway. Nice work seeing here how von Clausewitz attacks. He decides on the machines can be quite crucial in the dealing with these maneuvers. Good move there. Also going for mortar again. I imagine this time he will stick to it. Meanwhile, von Clausewitz can't go bring it up to Supremo Corps and probably should. And he's advancing for the south. No sign of ambush camouflage for the Panzer Grenadier here of von Clausewitz. Decent engineers up north, grab the fuel point there. Quite surprised it took him so long to try and grab it. It's been basically standing neutral for several minutes, which is a bit of a rarity for a fuel point, to be honest. And Easter could allow Finaway to, I think, take ahead faster than he actually currently can, so bit of a slip there by Finaway. Obviously, caught up here with von Clausewitz's death maneuvering, but even then. Looks like that for a push here, but with the teacher in the way, that is not going to end up well. So Palmer going up from class. He's going to actually push for a Panther force straight away. Smokes him down here. Just in case his opponent's machine gun up there. Good move there. Good tactical approach there by Finaway. Basically attacking as if there was a machine gun he had to worry about. Throwing down the smoke machine there. Obviously he doesn't know where it is, so it could be there. Or it could be in the vicinity of the building. So thumbs up there to Finaway. There could also be, you know, Gladius or something else hiding about there. So either way, good work. Tactically very sensible. Machine gun though is carrying the center victory point. And 
I don't know. I can't help but feel these. Some of these trees might actually block it. So I'm a fire there. Certainly can be hard to tell. We got Nosfin instead here from Clutch. It's not a bad pick either. I mean, he does have the fuel lead against Fenway. And of course, the Nosfin's going to have the great list, lot of infantry support weapons and light vehicles. So, you know, not a bad pick here. Five for the fuel point and balls over again here. As from Clutch, which can attack to prevent the fuel from falling into the hands of Fenway. Up north here, T's in a bit on his own. Risk being cleared out the pack 40. No infantry support there. Seems like uh, Fenway's hooks themselves a bit too much. More important left the machine gun in a. Well, the T's in an awkward spot without any support. Marvis losing it to the pack forward. We got Conscript there. Go grenade officer on the MG42. Might be able to punish it for Clutch. There you go. Machine gun again left in a slightly awkward spot. Mildly put. Wiped out. T's in will continue to hammer away here at Von Clutch. With troops up north almost right. The pants going to be a squad. Still, ground the machine gun. It's going to be a significant loss here for Von Clutch. And a big win there for Finaway. Gives him three machine guns. From more important, just a nice, a really efficient machine gun there to Von Clutch. He does have the Osphen out. We only have one field gun there for Fenaway, so from Clutch to be able to turn things around a bit here with the arrival of the Flag Panther. We got Tilly down here to further disrupt Fenaway's hold here. By the uh, little wood cluster there, go T70 finally taking up a series of Panthers there from from Clutch. It's bold infantry. Make a nice damage company up, but uh, sometimes go from calling the tanks again. Not ground that fuel bomb was neutral, was definitely a bit of a slip up there. Machine being rushed out, and then he remembers he wasn't supposed to get out, and then he pulls it back. Flak Panzer rushing from one side of the river to the other. In fact, splashing right through the river in case those Soviet guns come in the center victory point. Not a bad move there, tactically by von Clausewitz. Got the northern fuel there. Conscripts comes I can wait for another push. We got the ace commissar out there, a true hero of the Red Army. Oh, of Lenin. And everything. Flak Panzer moving about here. Up north, troops in reinforcing the effort from class. We didn't have those guns. They still haven't been upgraded with anything. And the Panzers similarly have not been upgraded with the uh, ambush camouflage. Maybe just doesn't believe in it for the Panzer I don't know. Maximum they've been caught in the flag plants are taking heavy damage as the Osman tears through them with their extension of the gun. Lotsman is the Fenner will once more quickly abandon the east side there to con uh, return to the west. Lots of band fourth on these there caught with a G for the fees. Got an Italian going in there and boosting the country to try and increase the chance of the wiping out the gun leaves. So things should have gone for a unit closer to them. But there you go. He was actually really close to getting wiped. In fact, he may still get a wipe in the gun leaves. He's really unleashing everything he can on the gun leaves. Caught. Can he get the wipe? Oh, so close here for Fenway, but in the end, it uh, was beyond his reach, despite his best and most fervent efforts. A shame there for Fenway, but pretty lucky for Von Clausewitz. Comes the command squad, the patrol kills, close to getting wiped out, they're just not careful, he's all low health, and he's reinforcing. Ooh, going for medics now, so indicating he can't really afford to use for line of commas anymore. Feel wise, he is still behind. It's definitely been one of his bigger struggles. And who knows, at some point, he actually won't go for fuel cash earlier to maybe help offset this a bit. Sniper from Clausewitz at the 18 minute mark. That's a surprise move from Clausewitz. Can't anticipate that. No doubt, Fiona will either. Comes to command squad, they're routed by the Ospind. Three kills so far. Fiona will be preparing to launch an assault here across the road and push back from Clausewitz. Of course, the major issue is going to be the Austin Flak Panzer, which. Finaway lacks any counters to. I mean, he could consider the issue in 6M to deal with it that way. Pani is trying to flank across the river instead of the mine, giving here Finaway time to react with his machine guns. Possibly. Maximum machine gun enemies setting up as well. And there you go. Panther popping off a bun grenade and then you 42. Almost popping the out tuna, but there you go. Maximum popping up, forcing retreat in the panther. This close shave there from. Anyways, MG42 team pumps are taking heavy damage, but I think nothing was really sufficient. Wipe the gun is pinned down. Osman up here continues to act as a guardian of the Western Field Point here. Six kills. He's close to T34 from the six to try and go for the Osman. Of course, at this point, Mr. Von Klaasvitz could, of course, be going for a Panzer for or Stugs if he wanted to. Back here, troops are reinforcing for Finaway. Note he has used Conscript to merge with MG42, allowing him to stay at the front line. Maxim is pulling back as well. Retracting his lines. I think he should be a bit more aggressive in some way. Trying to push somewhere rather than just pulling back like that's a bit too much. Gives his opponent too much time to recover you to get back into positions. Also, for that matter, get aggressive himself. T34 seems to find a way for Finaway. But again, really good from Ukulele from Klauswitz. And so one of those things that can be really crucial. Generally is actually crucial. 
So good work there by Van Klaasvitz. And definitely one of the things that's going to make this match tougher for away that again, Van Klaasvitz has been so far able to consistently deny him the fuel and control it. Since again, he's got an Osman up, he always has a big spare lump of fuel, whereas compared to Finaway, he's only now able to get out a T-34 in his six. So in this regard, Van Klaasvitz's fuel war has been quite successfully waged. And in this regard, Finaway, I feel like he needs to be a bit more aggressive at times, whereas the fuel compared to... Uh, Plus, he's doing whenever he's moving ahead here. Gunnadis in the way. Finally, he's launching a counter with Gunnadis and Snap up here coming as well. Plus, a pack 14 to serve. T34 from 6. Almost done here for Finaway. And there you go. Piney is pressed by the NG42. Damn it. NG on the Osman could allow the T34 something to rush after it and destroy it. Grenade here from the Comms Command Squad. Gunnadis actually whiffs a bit awkwardly there to put it mildly for Finaway. There you go. Boosting the counter fight hard here. Piney being pushed back by the fervently inspired Comms Bomber. Seven man there. And if actually frees of course, they're going to be quite formidable. These cons could okay, do some serious damage. Go flag punch. Hope we got the T-34-6 coming in. Pack 40 sitting up there, but still, would probably not be enough to save the uh, Ospin. As the T-34 quickly moves out of the range there and goes for the T-34 Ospin. But no, by the way, he's also going to probably use the shed here to basically keep out of range of the Pack 40. From Klaus's realized to try and dra drag it out there, but again, he may just make it hard for himself. Now, Stroll trying to move the Pack 40. It's a bit of a mistake from Klausowitz. And this allows then... Finaway to effortlessly destroy the Ospin from Klaasvitz. Cancel the Panther foot for Stugas. An interesting choice here. I guess it's where there's going to now be more tanks pouring in, in which case Stugas' higher rate of fire is obviously going to be better plus the range. Need to head for the Southern Fuel Point with another unit. All the way around the center here. All the way with the Ospin. All the way. Finaway can get more aggressive. And uh, the Stugas is going to be great, of course, in slowing down the T 34. Missing an almost wiped out. Being flanked here by the Panther with with G for the Feast and Ambush Camouflage. Should be able to wipe out the maximum or the machine gun there in the uh, river. There we go. T-34 moving up. He's going to grab the machine gun there. But there you go. T-34 lands a great hit. Put up the Panther. We've got artillery called in. But from Class 6, forcing with the other machine guns. Still, Finaway is struggling in the map control department. Has more moved in the fuel point. And there you go. Sturm gets your strike. Ask for key. Ask for from Class 6. And the West Big Contra push in again using the. Uh, not one step back, but there's the concept to boost the firepower. Good work there. Nice consistent usage of the ability. Something got some flying there. Rough game of the conscripts. Nice shot there. T-34 with three kills. A lot of action here. Munginia's out for Finaway. Still needs to grab some fuel. Munginia's routed by the advancing Jaeger command squad. Prowling forwards. Good to go there, at least the maximums are good to go. But anyway, it's theoretically not far off from another T-34-6 here, grabbing the northern fuel point finally. Pack and Stroop going together, deal with the T-34, and there you go, great on the air command squad. So now we're coming here from the center victory point, nice little vantage point there. Troops in enforcing. Got the western fuel cut off, though of course when Klaasvitz still has a significant fuel lead here with Finaway. Still, getting his one fuel point back on his control is going to still help Finaway out a lot. Would you say getting out more T-34s or bring up other stuff than T-34s? Von Klausowitz could go for another Stug, he'd go for a Panzer IV. He could go for a lot more Stugs. And of course, he could try and go for Tier 4 here. Stug adding in the Pinlock Machine Gun, very good upgrade there. In the center, we got Ambush Panzer there and the G-43 is backed up by the MG-42, push back the console there. No ambush camouflage on those yet. Maximum dealing with the advanced gun of these, at least trying to, but apparently he's not shooting at them. Oh, there we go. Actually got him suppressed, but he's doing gain five kills. Molotov off as well. Constantly wiped out in the process. Bit of a loss there for Finaway. You can't really afford at this point. T-54 charging up 10 hits from the pack. 40 course, just now getting hit by the Stug. Finaway may have pushed it a little bit too much, and there you go. Sliver of health left. Field gun shoots, misses the storm shots. In the far south here, we got the Molotov doing this and Pioneers coming up here, uh, poking their noses at uh, front Finaway's base. 13 kills in the comes command squad. Back here, troops only forcing. Stug moving out again, I imagine. Snub under fire here from the now ace machine gun there. Field one binding as well. Shot fired, went above the sniper's head. Probably not shooting at it. Maybe he wasn't shooting at it, but he definitely killed it. Maybe he was, actually. I think that might be the first time I've seen a sniper killed by that, actually. Oh, the way impressive work there by Fenway. Definitely a bit of a blow. This is from Klaasvitz. 
Now the flag punching weather from Klaswitz and the German army continent about hitting southwards. Now the T-34 from weather for Finnaway and the 20th tank corps. Punch they're pushing ahead. Bomb grenade up on the machine gun. Almost wiping it out there. We got 14 kills. We got Conflict and Comms Command Squad backing up here. Up north, Gunnier Stug firing back. Ace level Gunnier is there. Very good for von Klaswitz and Deutschland. Gunnier is trying to make a bridge here through a breach. Not a bridge, but breach through the bridge. Now the T-34, some six. And there you go. Great hit from the T-34, six. Almost wiping up von Klaswitz, Gunnier is. Pants Gunnier Squad pushing across the river. But of course, may find their beach yet very much quickly annulled by the T-34, some six. Can't miss up pushing up, but always be routed. A lot of action pushing through the south here. Going to go for the eastern field point. Flak pans out. Second T-35 out there. Giving thin away in terms of like pure tank numbers. I think the advantage. Though again the Stug packed up probably can cause deal with the T-34s. Oh he just went to go for another Stug. The T-34s also also an issue. Still thin away starting to catch up in fuel. So that's good. Though from Classfield still has a significant fuel advantage. No additional sons of armor yet, or tier 4. T-54 setting up, you're also going to smoke them off around the center. Pro trying to uh, suppress any sense. There goes and caught with the T-54s. Half health here. This could be a very short lifespan here. Four from Klaasvitz, second Osman, but no, he backs off in time. And Finnaway decides also not to push his luck. As all this is happening from Klaasvitz once more. Utilizes his good battle sense there to basically hit Finnaway, but he isn't because he got... He has a tendency of clustering his forces. He's not quite good at managing large amounts of territory, it seems, and from Klaasvitz is very much sensing this. He just hit the north, which is now well, quite wide open alongside the west. It's a good play there by from Klaasvitz. Good read on his opponent's uh, weaknesses, if you will. Need to counterattack there immediately. Fenway is not far off from another T-34-6. He could also consider K-8 to help deal with the support weapons. Plus, just so got fire from uh, enemy armor. That could have also been an idea there for Fenway. T-34 stopping up the Gunnadier supports there out in the open. They are very much easy target for the T-34s. Panthers are moving ahead, backed up by the M4-2 Stuk, pack moving up as well. Flag Panther there being repaired. West side, we got from Klaasvitz slowly sneaking in more forces to again exploit Finnaway's attention there while launching in a counterattack to deal with Finnaway's armor push in the east. I think a good response there by from Klaasvitz, as long as he can manage it. Which so far it seems like he can. Falling back here, a bit harder here for Finnaway to fight with all the buildings and the hedges there. Making it easier for Van Klaaswitz to launch a counterattack. Up north here, Ye commands would grab the western fuel point. And he's also seizing the eastern fuel point. Finnaway's suddenly being caught in a tight spot. Best idea, I think, would launch a counterattack northwards and deal with the pestilences on the west side of the river. For now, Osman charging across the river, backing up with Gunnadier Escort here. And we got tier 4 that being prepared for Van Klaaswitz. Certainly with the lead he's got, I can understand going for it. Plus, it's not like he's just going it that to rush for it. He's actually got Stug and Osman out there, plus Pack. So he's got, I would say, a reasonable base of weapons to actually you know, build towards a tier 4 move on. But honestly, just going for more Stugs and Ospins, I think, would be just as good, if not better. Well, that's just me. Oh, this is from Klaasvitz game, not mine. We got the T-34 going straight for the air command. Got pushing them back here with the T-34s. Good work. Meanwhile, we got a fresh kind of a push here across the river by from Klaasvitz forces. Ostrin, Stug, and Pack. Though, I feel like you should be taking this spot rather than here. Much uh, further away from uh, possible gun positioning by Finnaway. In the south, we got engineers pushed back with the Panzer gun dealer. Halfway to the east level there for Deutschland. And we got the third T-34 there. Finnaway stepping down to build up a significant armored force. Meanwhile, from Klaasvitz got the heavy Panzer Corps up there. To allow the third Panzer to bring it, it is heaviest armor. T4 supposed across the river, they got the Stug and the Osman moving ahead. They need to cover not to push to fight with the Stug first. Could get his focus down, but the T4 was dealt with. There you go, bet you need two. Or say if there was a Kanskis Ward hiding about, they could have ambushed as well. Immobilizing the Stug, at least make a half it to get away here from Fenway's T34s. It's a bit risky there from Klaasvitz. A bit risky. We got Fian 33 to turn 87. And there you go. Hey, Panther called done. He's also able to go for a Panther in. Well, now actually. If that's what he's planning. If that is what he's planning. Third T for fight there for Finaway and the Red Army. Up north, he got Gunners pushed back with the Maxim. Back here, troops in enforcing. Western Field with the Engineers. Grand the Southern Victor Point alongside the Southern Field. Very good. And there you go. Panzer come fucking Fun. Four from Klaasvitz, Osman getting the Maxim crew. Only to take a roaring shot there from the Sys 3 Divisional Field Gun. T-34, some six moving out. The enemy 
Going straight here for the machine gun. Undercover smoke. Not bad. Not bad. More T4 going up. 34 being stolen by a pack, but still destroying the machine crew there in a matter of moments. And destroying the machine as well. Good push there by Fenway. They need to get the T Fed for before it gets lost. Looks like he may not be able to got for touching the stew. There we go. Destroying Fenway, punishing him for being a bit too careless for that. T Fed 4. He does get a damage in the Stug. Half health, but also half fate of T2. They got the Osman nearby support. Comes command going in there. Grenade off. Big counter push here. He's gonna need to do with the Osman. The Osman won't be getting much further. Panther though is almost about ready to rub here for Fun Clausewitz, there you go, Pioneers being shredded, so trying to repair the Pioneers, there we go, good wipe here. Got more infantry charging in here, Fenway is ruthlessly, brutally attacking there, showing no regard for the cash these men are taking. And there you go, Panther robbing, bursting through uh, the fences. Meanwhile, you got to push it for the semi here, Command's going to clean out the field gun, T-Fed also got Maxims joining in. If only had to say the field gun, the Maxim support the assault, I think it would be in a much better spot there, to be honest, but... Uh, in the end, he didn't quite commit as much as he could. And now he's open to a counterattack from Klausitz, who's charging in. And the Panther barting his way through the lines. He's rushing for the field. And he can't recruit without losing a unit here. And there he goes. He still decides to do the sacrifice in the new squad to get the field gun under operation. But the problem is that the field gun is still exposed to the gun leaves. And even the Panther's machine gun. t is charging in. And there you go. Field gun cleared out. You need to swing up. Field firing away. The Osman charging force there. Got air support calling to further. Make things look here for Fenway and the Red Army. Van Klaasvitz assault continues here, punishing his way through Fenway's lines, destroying the field, and Osman taking hits there, big push of infantry right in front of the Osmans. It's like a shooting range at this point. And that guard of damage ending the Panther, but the field's going to go down. He may be able to go for Nation 5 soon enough. Meanwhile, he needs to fix up the T-Fed forces lost. Most of his infantry by now is just under the Kamsa command squad, and one Kamsa squad there. Fenway and the Red Army have suffered significantly, and there you go. The Austin gaining Vetsni 2, increasing its rate of fire by a bit, but also increasing its anti aircraft ability significantly. Fight for the Sun, fuel point here. We got the Gunners there, tank for the Maxim. Quick rough net against the Mortar there, 7 kills for T2. And there you go, Gunners, close. Class being wiped out, there you go. Yay, Command Squad, counter tank from the north. Punch Gunners joining in there as well. 17 kills close to the ace level, Maxim taking heavy damage here. Dealing with a priority target there, I suppose. Bun grenade rounds in this fleet of Finnaway's infantry. Nice work there. Going for the Commissar first. Trying to remove the uh, core here of Finnaway's infantry forces. T44 charging in. And there you go, the ace punch of these executes the Commissar. At least the remaining member of the Commissar squad. T44 taking a hit from the pack 40. 23 kills in the Panzer going to deal it. And an HD5 for Finnaway. Another Piney on the way. There we got Panthers on the way. More Pioneers from Clausewitz. Duke, half late of XC2. Fenway's chances are now looking, I would say, much grimmer, particularly due to the infantry shortages. He's now suffering, which is going to make much harder for him to push ahead, grab territory, but also just clean up from Klauswitz stuff and maybe turn it against Fenway from Klauswitz. It's not impossible with a good push enough, but I think it's going to be quite challenging here for Fenway to turn this around. I mean, there's no recent close and victory points, so I suppose there's still an option here. But for Klaus, it has an infant advantage, plus it does have an insignificant armor advantage for the Stu, the Ospin, and the Panther. In particular, the Ospin there being actually two, of course, is quite nasty. And the Stu being close to it, too, has been a problem there for Fenway in the longer run. So he's going to have to pull off some really good pushes combined, I think, here with the anti tank Overwatch. If he can like, pull off a good maneuver where he's like takes out a significant chunk of Klaus with armor, Fenway still has a chance to recover from this series of setbacks. But yeah, otherwise, it's going to be a bit tough. He's also, you know, shot in infantry. Panther coming the west. Team for engaging an ambush going to be a squad. Issued fire ready to go as well. Black Panther Marine catching the comfort. Team for shoot through the hedges. Misses. That takes hits from the pack 40. As I say, pack 42. For some reason.
Stug sitting out there for von Klauswitz. Also moving ahead. H5 shoots and misses. Of course, Stug attack from the north here. Panther joining in as well there. Tief put in a lot of trouble. H5 shoots at the Ospin. That's not going to help. Stug Panther will get there. Go Tief for trying to ram it. Oh, got a hit. Still, it's going to be Panther versus Stug. And we got air support calling out Antetango, what you mean. Call in here. Stug taking several hits. Going to go down there. Go knocked out, I think, by Mortron and all things. Panther being shot at, but it's dodging it. It's dodging it. Circling around the armor there. Go pack coming up as well here. It's actually out of range of the Antetango. Oh, watch. It can't do much. T head for down here. The situation for Finaway is quickly crumbling. He's lost most of his armor now. Infantry wise also looking back. Austin there dodging a loose shots. And there you go with this. Finaway surrenders his spirits as broken as his commissar's body. GG game over. Loss here for Finaway. A nasty fight here in the end. From Clausewitz of the was able to secure victory on the back of just good fuel control. Whereas Finaway struggled with the you know the importance of the fuel and also times holding. And even then just again that neutral fuel point didn't do anything for some time. I think it was also another problem there for Finaway. So that combined with some of those punishing hits there we just killed too much of Finaway's stuff. And at the same time and it's not suffering too much himself allowed from Clausewitz to slowly establish you know a good situation of control. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell your enemies. And is that tank being pushed through the ground? Almost looks like it. So hope you enjoyed it again and see you all tomorrow for a nice new episode. Bye.